Hi guys, what is going on? And um, welcome to my commentated uh, gyro game. And I can't see the minimap right now because my microphone is in the way. But I don't want to move it since it will make some noise. Anyways, um, as you can see, I start off with. I have to move it, I need to watch the minimap. Okay, and a bit down, and this down, and it should be okay right now. So anyways, yeah, this is my uh, my way of playing Gyrocopter, and uh, as you can see, I just placed a ward up in the offlane, and in this game, I'm going to be against a triple offlane, and a triple safe lane, and um, yeah, I'll talk about it later, but right now, I'm just um, getting close to the room and hiding, and trying to get a, a fast kill here. Um, and that's what you should always do if you think you can actually kill someone is that you should try to to go close to a rune. And I did it, I, normally I wouldn't do it against a triumph, but I had Lina there, so I went for it and Lina actually got a first blood against the Razor, so that was really great. And as you can see, I waited very long until engaging, so I didn't want to reveal myself. If Razor had seen me there, he would definitely have backed off. Anyways, this is kind of a short game and I get Yule Scepter when the game is about to end, but you can see in the in the Slashes way short video how I use Yule Scepter a lot. And I choose this game because I'm actually against a tri lane as a solo gyro offlane. And I want to show that gyro is actually viable in the offlane. I want to show how I actually stay in the offlane and get experience. So I actually get a quick level 2 um, because and they are just harassing me, but I got level 2 and I have 2 gauntlets and rocket barrage so you saw how this was up that he tried to vent in and tried to zone me and I just used rocket barrage and he had to back off because it's such a death spell it just takes like 60% of your health at level 1 so it's really a great spell and that's that's why you know Gyrocopter is actually a very good offlaner since he has very high move speed one of the highest move sp base move speeds in the game, 315 move speed and he has very high base armor, especially for range hero, and he's a range hero. And further, he has um, rocket barrage, which is just it's a great way to if, if if someone tries to zone you, they really have to you know sidestep a lot, and they constantly they can't get too close to you. Then you just rocket barrage them. The only thing Jairo is really lacking for being a better offlane is actually just you know if a Jairo had a blink blink, then he would just be a uh, you know the perfect offlane. He would be perhaps the best offlane ever. But um, as it is right now, he's actually a pretty great offlaner. And you can see here, Vaser tries to zone me and I use Rocket Barrage and it's not that great because there's a lot of creeps, but still um, I'm able to bring him a bit low. And I actually checked the map right now and I can actually see that the two supports who are at him are actually um, rotating. So what I can do is I can uh, you know, complete the zone Vaser out and right now I know that I have to be a bit careful. Um, since the supports are getting up there and I actually have based the great ward which you can see we are just out of sensory range and right now I might be overextending a little bit um, but I have my boots and I don't think any of them have boots and I have also magic uh, stick and you have boots magic stick and these items then you really are you are quite capable so one thing I talk about, don't use, you know, Hoeing Missile before level 2, uh, before that the spell is level 2 since it costs so much mana. Anyways, um, Lina tried to rotate and right now my creep equilibrium is also really great. So I'm able to, you know, control the lane and still stay and get XP against the tri lane. So I would say this is pretty much perfect um, off lane play for me. Um, or perfect game as far as it goes and um, yeah so I think I'm I'm getting in my tranquil boots now and right now if, if I meet any supports I can pretty much you know kill them solo um, and I think this racer I should try to look at the racers so I have 11 true last hit and let's see what racer has he has 11-2 as well when I look right there so I'm actually keeping up with in farm with him and was able to zone him out before so um, let's talk about Yule Scepter and Gyrocopter 
since it this is rather short game and um, it's it's a bit of stump but since I was against most of the time I was against a solo trilion it just leaves uh, you know rest of the four heroes on my team against two heroes so what I can do is if I just get levels then I have done a great job and I get levels and I also get farm and I prevent Razor from farming a lot so I would say my contrib contribution to this um, game is pretty great and when they dive Lina I'm actually you know able to just rocket barrage and they kind of have to back off and I have to back off a bit but But actually, um, you know, in the beginning, I think I started off buying Yule Scepter because there was Fruin on my, uh, against me and I was just so tired of him riding and I couldn't like kill him. So I was like, okay, how can I avoid, how can I actually kill him and then, okay, Yule Scepter. But I can't do a guide on Yule Scepter Gyro because that's just, how can, how can you go Yule Scepter on Gyro? That's, you can't be serious. But I actually found out this pretty great. Okay, let's talk about this. So I'm actually dying here. And if this if his creep wave weren't coming right there, I would have gone from him. But because I don't have level 6 yet and I only have rocket barrage, all the creeps would have tanked that rocket barrage and I wouldn't be able to get him. But if I had waited just a little bit with the, um, the rocket, I could actually have dived Razor on the tower. And I think that's actually gonna happen later. Yeah, that's gonna happen later and we can see how the difference between um, the creep equilibrium here and um, creep equilibrium um, in, the, in the case in the future. And also, Creep Equilibrium doesn't matter that much if he's kind of low and you have ulti, since then you can just cast ulti and the creeps, they don't really matter. Um, they die very quickly. But as you can see, I'm, um, I think I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm higher level than Razor. Um, and the rest of my teammates are doing really great as well. Um, and so at this point, I'm actually able to solo kill Razor. And this is where I just take another cloud tree from the courier, which can be pretty great when you're uh, when you're just getting the courier for like another item. Then go ahead and grab cloud tree early before you get white stone before you get any regeneration. But anyways, as I talked about Yule scepter, so I think I have like maybe 60, 70 gyro games or something like that, where 50 of them is for Yule scepter, and that's what I started doing. So. I have played a lot of Jao games in the past where I just went, you know, full carry mode and you max a rocket barrage first. But um, yeah, and this this also shows right here how um, Jao cops are when just he got rocket barrage and he got a few spells. He's really he can really contribute a lot to the team. So that in that way he's you know a great support. And since they don't have any um, they don't have any heroes, I get a, um, I get upgrade so I get two bracers right now. And um, then I'm gonna go to, to Mules afterwards. But uh, I keep getting distracted from Mules. At the, but you know, as I talk about in my video, um, the problem with Gyro is that you really need some way to control the heroes. Yes, if if you don't have any way to control the heroes, if you just go standard carry Gyro game, it's really you you just become passive farmer like Naga with with Radiance. You're not really able to kill anyone, and I, I really don't like that style of. Playing Jaro, I think it, I really had great success before when the flag cannon was still 20 seconds cooldown. But since 30 seconds cooldown, you he has really dropped off in competitive, and you very very rarely see him in pubs. I think like my last hundred pubs, I'm not sure if I even see him in once played like a main carry role. Um, and that's that's really what's really uh, what my guides are about is if a hero isn't being played. And I don't see him, you know, being played much in pubs and high-level pubs or not really much in competitive. I really want to see, okay, Icefog is no fool. He knows that he tries to balance the heroes. He tries to make all the heroes viable, and I think he does a great job doing that. So why aren't this hero be played? Is, is, is Icefog wrong here, or um, is it just... He, that, can, can, you feel, can you find, like, a niche? Can you find a spot for him? And... Um, you know, that's that's like how people they started using Boot to Travel with Tinker and he just, you know, find com comes a completely different beast. And that's what I either, you know, try to find out originally or probably more often I, I, I encounter someone who 
plays in a certain way with a hero that isn't playing often and I try to okay he seems like he's doing great can I um can I do a guide on this you know can I um how, how can I uh, talk about this in like five minutes and make the build more popular um and I, and to do this I need to like play probably 20 30 at least games to to get a feel and notice how I'm diving here and there's no creeps So I dive at level 7 racer and I'm the only level um, 8 and I dive him under tower and that's the safe lane racer. So I'm delaying his mechanism so much and um, and Wild West I have like this exemplary team, like really great team. So they are really um, abusing the fact that they are um, they are really, uh, you know, um, they, they, they don't have, you know, they only have a few heroes on their side while I deal with a trilane. So you can you can you can look at this game and you can think okay, so I said your your team just carried you and what you but but if you see what I'm doing here and what kind of game impact I have with Jaiokop you know I've ganked mid and I've really kept their main race of safe lane farmer down and they have focused three heroes but I'm still getting farm um, and I'm really doing uh, a lot on with this Jaiokop in the early game. But yeah, Yule's Jaiok it's. So 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 you don't get, you don't become a passive farmer. You become like this kind of like a punch that can transition into late game. You you can kill almost anyone solo, and um, it also helps him a lot with the mana problem, and um, and also provides more move speed. And it's just a great item with him. What a player that Dutch. Anyway, um, so and use can as you can see in my video how I Dutch. Um, I have I'm. Mean, In the first scene, I'm against the Bloodseeker who ruptures me and tries to go on me and uses all the spells. And um, here you can also see how aggressive I can actually be. I could. Uh, Lina was great there, but he probably shouldn't have ulted Baser. But I, I can go against two heroes and um, kill. Uh, probably I killed them both if they stayed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, actually in the beginning I was like, okay, I know where I can do a guide, but and this. And um, but but the more I played, you know, the more I came to love um, Yul Sato with Jayo, and I really, you know, had to practice a lot to know how of, uh, offensive can I be and stuff like that. Um, but now I come to the point where I can't, you know, I don't want to play Jayo without without Yul Sato, and I want to have have the game as much in my control as possible. If you just AFK farm, then I think there's better heroes you can do it, and I think with than Jayo, and that's also, you know, the i think the opinion of the competitive scene and the pub scene is that if you want to have K farm, Gyro isn't that great of a hero anymore with the flat cannon nerf. Um, so, so, so that's why um, I'm doing. So that's why I try to look at how can we that can Gyro be played any other way. And I think he can be played great, either off lane, perhaps even mid, um, but also also safe lane and where you get a quick use scepter. And you can you, you can still transition to carry, and I have some great games where I start in the off lane and I transition to carry, and I get you know MKB and and um, you know uh, yeah BKB and Satanic, and I'm just you know become a main carry, but still with with your set, so um, I can team fight very well, but I can still you know gank solo with with um, with your set. And I actually experimented with. Getting your set and then afterwards getting a turret blade on gyrocopter, but what I found is that you would get it so late and the BKB would just counter it so that you just you know become one kind of hero, um, and I didn't like that too much um, because you know when you get a turret blade you will get it very late and if if you go for one of the main carries they will just you know use they will they will just use. Um, What's it called? Yeah, they'll just use BKB and then, okay, that's kind of it. So that's why afterwards, you know, in the beginning, magical damage is just great. But later when people get BKB, it becomes much less um, useful. And that's why I am um, I, I have begun to transition into, you know, a physical DPS dealer. So I would have, you know, magical damage and I will have that throughout the game. But I also get, so I am a great physical DPS dealer. So... This this video guide is kind of it's not the best game to show Gyrocopter. It's it's I would say it's a very very good game to show how Gyrocopter can can um, be offlane and um, 
and transition and you know gank um, not transition but you know gank and help the other lanes um, but you know I, I did very well offline and most of my teammates did great in their lanes so I think they have just given up so I'm just gonna go into 2x speed and we're just gonna watch the rest of the game um, so I think we get like three rules set us on this team which I s suggested several times that we could perhaps perma yule someone but I don't that that wasn't really possible. Um I don't think so. I think someone yeah Timbers was, was hiding there so tried to ult him to get vision. And that's the typical pop trick, you know, they say oh we have K, we have K and then they defend. So that's you you meet it a lot where like FK go in please and and they still defend so that's one of the one of the more common pop tricks is AFK go in and you're like okay we go in and then you you pay, play a lot more risky and you just you know five men and then suddenly yeah, you get an urge shaker ultimate in your head and then it's just kind of okay well I thought you were AFK um, but they are really not so it's tricky tricky high level pops you cannot trust people. Um, but sometimes people do also go FK, so we have this Timasa who just FK now. Um, so I, act I also had like a 40 minute Jago game where I went like tw tw 20 to 5. Um, and I can upload that, or I can just give you the Steam ID where you can watch that. And that's, I think I go like 25 Gyrocopter, and I played that yesterday, um, so... Yeah, yesterday I have the point of this upload. Um, and it was 40 minutes long, and the problem with that game was that I was actually in an aggressive trialing against aggressive trialing. So it, it shows how you can transition into a carry gyrocopter really well, but it didn't show how you can actually often solo, and that's why I choose this game. Also because I wasn't sure if I could talk about gyrocopter for 40 minutes. And But um, if you want me to upload the game, uh, I can also provide this teammate ID, then you can also watch that. But I'm not going to do a commentary on that because I have done this and um, I have also, you know, showed a lot in my, you know, videos how you can use um, Yule Scepter. But uh, this was really, you know, a great team and really a stomp, so and also a very, very quick game. But it, it shows that how Jive Cobbler is, is really a great offlaner. Anyways, um... Probably gonna do my next guide on Wisp, Wisp solo mid, which I had like in the 11 games I had like 9-2 with it, and I have really you know had some great games and gotten some flash bots mids, so I look forward to that. Um, I think I'm actually getting my oh I'm actually scouting with the career right now to see if someone is FK there. And uh, Tim was always in the top left corner, but the career got hit. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's a hero hiding in the jungle, so I can check it there. But I think it might have just been the tower that hit it once. So let's go in 2x, 2x speed and just watch the rest of the team. And if you have any questions to your Gyrocopter, things that I may have missed or something like that, just ask away and um, I will try my best to answer. Um, so, yeah. And you can also check check out my Steam guide if you want to do this kind of gyro couple way. Um, I will you know, the Steam guide is in the description of Stash's way, and I will also provide it in this video description. So um, try try out your your set. That's actually I think it's it's legit, and um, it's if you think about it, that's really great synergy with gyro. But this this game was just it's a great great gyro game. Easy game, easy life. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys and um, I look forward to to hear your comments and what you think about it. And look how I use Yul Sept to just, you know, float in there and just, you know, he's flying, he's a flying hero, he can float there and it looks great. So I would have loved if the other teammates had done the same. We had like uh, three Yul Sept and we could all be like floating, though I could be the only one really flying. Yep, so thanks for watching and see you.